everybody thank you for joining me again today I'm Lee from the craftyspark.co.uk and today I have something a little bit different to show you this is my nice new Christmas organizer you like it good let me show you what it is I've used the um, Merry Moments 12 by 12 paper to do this one but I'm actually going to be using the Winter Wonderland to make one to show you how to do it because I've run out of this one. Simple. But what we have in here, if we open our magnetic tag. Do you like magnets? We have, first of all, a beautiful glittery pen, which yes, I will show you how to do. Inside you have pockets now I've actually designed these um, insert things for you there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different organizers online just go onto Pinterest and search for Christmas organizer printable and you will find loads of them but I decided that I do one to go in here just because I wanted it to look sort of more uniform really than anything else and I didn't really want to be pinching anybody's ideas and for someone to get cross with me, especially not right on top of Christmas, because that's not really fair, is it? So I've designed my own ones. They're all going to be on them. Nom, 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 nom. I'll start that again. <laughs> They're going to be on the blog post that goes <laughs> with this, <laughs> with this organiser. Um, so you can download them if you want to, but like I said, there are loads of them online that you can get. So there is a pocket for your Christmas card list, a pocket for your gift list. You turn it over. You have another pocket with your December planner on it. You have a spare pocket with nothing in it because I wanted to make sure I got this video online for you and didn't spend time designing things. But people have probably done a much better job than me on doing these, so concentrated on this so we've got an empty pocket here turn over you have a notepad you have another pocket you could use put receipts in these or something and just to be really cool two more pockets isn't that good god just think the amount of rubbish you could keep in there and of course, as I said, a lovely sparkly pen just to go in there, just to match it all, make it all look yummy, scrummy and delicious. So, would you like to see how to make it? Let me show you. First off, you will be needing your Simply Scoreboard, your school tool, school tool and to begin with, three pieces of basic black cardstock. Now, this is the standard A4 measurement of cardstock, which is 8.25 times, sorry, eight and a quarter inches by 11 and almost three quarters. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, if you're in any of the other countries that don't have the standard UK size um, A4 cardstock, which I would guess a lot of you probably don't, you can easily just trim it to size the length bit doesn't matter too much more than the actual width really i suppose Do you know what thinking about it neither of them matter because you could just score it the way i'm saying to score it and it will still look fine actually yeah right forget i said all of that just then just use the a4 size that you have or as close to and this is what you do right first things first with your short end going across the top of your scoreboard you want to do using the right end of your score tool your first score line is at three and seven eighths right the way to the bottom so three and seven eighths all the way down the next one seven and three quarters now you want to do that on two sorry i think i just bash the tripod there but you want to do that on two of your pieces of cardstock all right so 3.78 again and seven and three quarters again the next thing you want to do is staying on the two pieces that you've just been using turn your cardstock doesn't matter which way around I always turn it this sort of 
that way which is clockwise I don't suppose it really makes a huge difference though because well I just don't <laughs> <laughs> waffling away right um with your long edge across with your long edge across the top score your next score line at three and a quarter do that on your other piece oops but the only thing i would say is this time make sure wherever your your narrow bit is keep your narrow a bit at that bit at that point in that way that's the word so 3.25 on that one 3.25 on that one all right so that's those two pieces done now should we score the other bit now actually we may as well because we do all the scoring at the same time then can't we right with your third and final piece of a4 sized cardstock again with your short end across the top score it at three point no at uh, think woman think three and seven eighths that's it and then turn it 180 degrees so all the way round score it again at three and seven eighths so what you will end up with see that two score lines down the middle that's what you want to be going for okay then turn it sideways so we've now got the long edge across the top and score this piece at three and a quarter as well okay right that's enough of the scoring move my scoreboard out of the way grab a bone folder that's kind of clean I think got a little bit of ink on that one makes change doesn't it right and then what we need to be doing with your uh, piece of cardstock that's got the centre scores down the middle just leave that to one side just for a second concentrate on the other two all right so the two that look the same you need to fold and burnish those score lines that's your first job on both pieces so that you've got some nice good folds going on there And now what we need to do is we need to join these two pieces together all right now when you join them together you want to make sure that your uh, what's it called your edge is to the hang on gotta think gotta think left is that right yes to your left so your thin edge to your left okay and you want it folded back on itself so it's actually folded underneath all right okay so that one's going to be going that way around this one the other one you still want your fold on the left your narrow fold is still going on your left but this one is going to be folded under okay well it will be anyway once we've got got round to it so actually do you know what? i'm going to fold that back on itself now just to give it a nice firm squish that might be a good idea actually for everybody doing this with me give it a good firm squish that was a very technical word there make sure you use it when you're doing your crafting very very important right <laughs> okay where's my scissors where's my scissors hang on there we go got some scissors right now then first piece of cardstock so we have a small piece on the right hand no we don't we have a small piece on the left hand side that's what i meant to say Fold your bottom flap upwards, okay, so we've gone up, and then just nip off that corner, like that, 
right so when you open it that's what you're looking at all right do the same thing on your other piece so open your flap out fold the bottom bit up grab your scissors just to that score line just nip off that bit there all right now when we stick this one we're going to do this one first when we stick this one together keep your flap the longer flap keep that to your right or tuck it under whichever way you prefer whatever keeps it out of your way might be easier if you leave it flat because it just keeps your cardstock flat but the smaller flap that we've got you want to fold that inwards now so that's going in on itself rather than outwards okay grab a bit of glue as you can see my gorgeous young son has been in and stripped the label off my glue uh, again he had a bit of a, a label cutting moment going on yesterday every single item of clothing he had all of a sudden I had to have every label cut out of it now he does always cut labels out which I imagine lots of children do 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 <laughs> but my little darling decided it wasn't just in his tops it was going to be his trousers his pants his t-shirts his vests you name it coats the lot the labels were coming out everywhere never mind made him happy so that's what I'm worried about right so we've done this bit we've got our flap going that way now this piece we're going to do slightly differently because this one is still going to be folded in there so that's still going to fold up there but this time we're going to glue down here as well and we're going to attach them like that okay so do that tab bit that you've already folded in first let's fold that over make sure it's nicely stuck now obviously if you want to and you like double-sided tape do your double-sided tape I like glue always find it sticks easier not easier no that's not the word double-sided tape sticks easier glue tends to stick firmer that's the one unless of course you're using the stamping up um oh my gosh what's it called i can only think of snail it's not snail is it the other one oh wow i forgot what it's called fast views that's it oh fancy forgetting that yeah if you're using the stamping up fast views which I know quite a few if you do then you're absolutely fine I always end up with a fight when I use fast views so <laughs> I stick with glue I like glue anyway takes me back to my childhood I think right there we go so make sure you've matched up you've got a nice straight line at the top nice straight line at the bottom make sure you're nice and firmly stuck down right so now we have the start when you fold this you will find that your first fold will make things go a little bit wibbly wobbly don't panic the reason that's happening is because especially when you fold this way because you're concertinering when you go that way there's too much cardstock there for the card to actually sit properly to start with so what you might find you have to do is fold it over this is what I did I felt folded it over lined it up at the top and then just gave it a bit more of a rundown with my bone folder and it just fits much easier did it the same on the other side as well because this side you're going to do the same thing again and it again you find you it goes a little bit kind of saggy baggy saggy baggy whatever you want to call it so just fold it over get your bone folder give it a bit more of a a push it doesn't ruin your cardstock look you can see it still looks perfectly fine but it just makes it sort of sit nicer when it's folded up right so there we have our beginning 
Next thing we want to do is, well, I hope I've got, oh my goodness, I've hardly got any of that left. Hang on, let me just refill that. I was going to say, grab your snail. A minute, just trying to find a refill. Here we go. Dun, da, da. How quickly can we change it? There we are. Whoops. <laughs> well, there was one. Put this one on. Is that upside down? I think it is. No, it wasn't. Why won't that go on there? Oh, there we go. That's it. Done it. Yeah. That's it. Right. What I have done, let's just get a bit of my rubbish. I have cut out already some of the Winter Wonderland Designer Series paper. And these are the ones that I'm going to be using to start with. All right. Now, so that you've got your measurements, these larger pieces, which are going to be the front and the back, they measure uh, eight and a quarter by three and five eighths. All right, so eight and a quarter, three and five eighths. The smaller pieces, these ones, measure three and a half by three. All right, so three and a half by three. Now, I'm not going to put these ones on yet, these big ones. I'm just going to do the smaller ones to begin with. And first of all, I want to arrange my pieces of how I'm going to do them. Now I've already decided that I'm going to do my notepad in this one. So the pocket that goes next to that one, I obviously want that to coordinate and look yummy. So I think I will use, what do you think, that one? I was going to use that one, but do you think that's a bit too similar? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go with that one. Or should I go with the Christmas trees? Uh, no, I'm going to go with that one because it's nice and shiny. Right, so I'm going to put those to one side for a minute. These ones I am going to have like that. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. So I've got sort of a black and gold, black, gold, black. Yes. Right, so let's pop some snail onto the back there and stick these in place it's very hard to see if I'm straight because I'm not at the, really really at the right angle but hopefully I'm straight if I'm not straight make sure when you do your own you do your straight won't you <laughs> otherwise it could look a little bit strange I think it is Mm, near enough yeah okay maybe not perfectly but it's close whoops oh come on work with me work with me there we go let's move that away and then my last one How's that go? Oh, that goes up that way, doesn't it? Does it go that way? What do you think? That way or that way? That way. I want to go that way. There we go. Right, so there's my four panels stuck on there. That's going to be concertinaing like that. Alright, so now I've done that one. I'm just going to pop that to one side for a minute and I'm going to bring back in the other piece of A4 that we had. So this is the one that's got the two score lines going down the middle. All right. So fold and burnish all your scores on this one. Fold and burnish all your scores. Fold and burnish. Oops. Oh no, I bet the card there. <laughs> Concentrate. Fold and burnish all your score lines. That's what I was aiming for. Now, this one is going to have oops, 
a pocket on the inside all right so this one's got a pocket going in here because when we stick it on can you see we've got the pocket in there okay if i put that around the right way Hang on, I'm having a moment. That is around the right way, isn't it? So it goes one, two, dippity do, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's all going, going a bit mad, isn't it? Right, okay, move that out of the way again. <laughs> Ignore me and my wafflings. Okay, back to this piece. Now, to help keep your corners strong, it's good if you keep this folded edge in, although. You don't need this side of it so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut just along that line there all right so here's my my center my sort of skinny center piece in the middle and I've cut just inside that score line right the way down because when I turn over I'm going to have glue holding that edge in place okay this flap I'm going to cut down but just a little bit just a big bit even <laughs> I just want I want to keep that edge nice and strong you see that's what I'm doing there we go don't need that and I'm just going to cut just a small notch out on that corner just to make it a little bit easier to work with okay now on this side I am going to put some glue along there and a little bit of glue along there I'm also now I'm going to get some double sided tape out using my really really skinny one that I had this is my four millimeter width one this one I'm just going to put just a very very thin strip just along that outside edge you don't have to it's entirely up to you if you want to or not but my intention is I may very well be keeping gift cards or something like that that I buy in there so I just want to make sure they don't fall out um oh come off no it's not coming off in a minute there we go right fold that one up stick down stick down fold that one in stick down stick down i'm going to use my bone folder just to make sure that is all nicely stuck solid and there as well because I want to make sure I've got nice firm stuck bits all right there we go so there's my sort of folder cover I suppose you could call it can you now I'm going to stick this piece in so to do that a bit more glue this time down that narrow edge that we left with the the score line on it and what I'm going to do keeping that up that way this is my folder turn my folder over so it's now face down and then line it up all right make sure you've got nice and neat nicely lined up stick it all down firmly let's just turn that over make sure we're nice and stuck on that bit there you go so when we turn it around the right way oops, get rid of that we have now got there we are so we open, 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 and it's all stuck in a line. All right, 
Can you see all those where those joins are? Does it help if I, I think it helps if I tip it out that way, doesn't it? Because you can see it a bit easier. Yeah, you got that? Fab. Right, before we go any further, I just want to show you a little trick. So, you've got it closed, you open it right up to the back and then you open it again. See this seam here? This, let me show you on this one, is actually that pocket in there. All right, that's what this is going to be. Now, if I just leave it like that, because it's got that, whoops, hang on, move that away. Because it's got this seam at the bottom, it is possible that when I put things in there, it's going to catch on that seam. So what I would suggest you do is get some sticky tape. Uh, hang on, I had some just now. Where's it gone? Oh, somebody's run off with my sticky tape. It's because I've seen in parcels up for my customers. Um... Oh, where'd I put it? <sighs> don't know. Oh, don't know where it's gone. Alright, let's get some more. There we go. Get another one. Because I've got no idea what I did with it. Right, get yourself some sticky tape of some description. Whichever one you like, whichever one you use. And just along that edge just stick some tape like that all right don't go right up to the edge because you need that gap in a minute but just stick it across the bottom like that because that will make sure that as you put things in and out of that pocket they're not going to get caught on that seam at the bottom just give it a nice real good squidge down to make sure it's nice and firmly stuck and that's now giving me a nice easy sort of slot to go into it will just make things much easier for whoever it is you give this to or if you're using it yourself make it much easier for you to use as well right let's put our nice gold shiny piece on the back on my back pocket um, that there it's about right isn't it yep super duper right now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to stick and make our pockets oh there's another seam there sorry i forgot to tell you about that one there's two seams that you need to stick your tape on sorry about that because you've got two, you're going to have two pockets in there. So make sure you stick tape on both of them. I do apologise. I forgot about that one. Right, squidge all that down. There we go. That's better, isn't it? There. Right. Now we're going to be doing the pockets. Right, what I've got now is a piece of um, Winter Wonderland. This is the one with the Christmas trees on the back, but is that the crackly effect? And this is actually going to be my side seams. I did think about using um, one of the gold ones. I thought about using the black stripe one. I ended up with this one. Now, obviously, the whole beauty of the Winter Wonderland set is it all coordinates as does everything that we do at Stampin' Up everything coordinates perfectly so with that in mind you could use anyone you liked really and it would look fab so if you don't want to use the ones that I'm using just use something else and you'll be no problems at all right this piece that I have here, it measures six inches by three inches. Yeah, just had to check that. So six inches by three inches. Let's move that out of the way in a minute. Bring your scoreboard back in. Now, I will warn you, 
This is a little bit fiddly, so I'm actually going to put my scoreboard sideways because I think it might be a bit easier to do. What you want to do with your score tool, score every um, three eighths of an inch. All right. The reason I put my scoreboard around this way is because it's just such a small piece of paper. I'm not going to be able to reach otherwise. So. Be careful on those first ones because they are the fiddly fiddlies. Try and keep your paper nice and still, unlike me who just wobbled mine around there. Um, one, two, three, so that's it. Once you've done the first couple, it's not so bad, but until you've got yourself going and get past that bit at the beginning, it's really difficult to hang on to the paper and score because it's such a little bit of paper and this paper is so lovely it's got this lovely lovely shiny shimmery not shimmery that's the wrong word isn't it it's it's glossy that's kind of what i'm going at glossy shimmery finish to it which makes it super pretty but also a little bit slippery right so third of an inch all the way along all right and then get rid of your scoreboard. Let's get my big scissors. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to cut because my hand hurts today. I'm going to use my my score. There we go. Use my trimmer. Much easier. Right. What you want to do is you need. Um, is it four? Hang on. Let me just check. I didn't write that bit down. I think it's four. One, two, three. Yeah. So every four scores, score lines, you need to cut like that. All right. So go along four and cut. Go along four and cut. And you will end up with four pieces you then need to fold each one in half now whichever design you want seen that's what you want on the inside all right to help you sort of determine how you're going to fold your paper so I'm having my crackly one visible so I'm folding it so the crackle is on the inside. All right. Then fold your outsides. So now you can see your crackly bit. All right. Fold it down nice and firmly. Just use your fingers. You don't need to use your bone folder really. Well, you can if you like, but it's not absolutely necessary on this bit. Because we're only using the paper, it's not so bad. I'm just... Fold it all round, so you've got it all in little concertinas. And what you've done is you've made four small concertinas like that. All right, see those? Get your lovely folder, your organizer that you've been making. Now we're going to start on the back panel first. Again, double-sided tape glue whatever you like but what you want to do is glue it obviously if you're using the trees make sure the trees are facing the same way but first off glue one piece in like that fold it down glue the other piece in okay so let's go so we put a bit of glue on there like I say use your double-sided tape if you want to use your glue if you want to whichever one you like I can't see what I'm doing hang on let's go upside down shall we you can do it when it's upside down that's better let's see what I'm doing now right so there's one folded it back in again my trees yep trees are in the right way around um, let's do the other one. 
Well, actually, I'm going to have to have one tree upside down, aren't I? Am I? No, I'm not. What am I talking about? Of course I'm not. Divvy. Put glue on there. Put that onto that edge. Don't go right to the very, very bottom. Whoops. <laughs> Try and get it in the right place though. I like that bit. Don't go right to the very, very bottom. You don't need to go down right to the bottom. You just need to go down. Oh dear, that's made a mess, isn't it? Um, I think this may rip my paper if I take that off now. Great tool, this. This is the adhesive remover. Have to be a bit careful though, because you really should be waiting until you've all your card is dry before you try and get it off. But I'll take a little bit of it off. If you rub it too hard before it's dry, you end up actually ripping your, your card a bit as well. There you go, that'll be right. It'll be fine. Let's stick that bit back in again. Which bit was it? Was it this bit? Was it this bit? Was it this bit? Was it that bit? I think it was this bit. Right. <laughs> As I was saying, stick it fairly close to the fold at the bottom it's black I can't see what I'm doing very well but not right to the bottom so I've probably come up there I don't know about an eighth of an inch maybe that gap at the bottom I think is about an eighth I've stuck both bits on so they fold out that way stick them down pop some tape or glue whatever it is you're using just on the other edge Make sure they are folded downwards and then you can just close it up like that. You just need to make sure you've got them in the right place before you actually fold it down. Otherwise you'll find that you have, um, you have the chance they might sort of slip out the side or something. Oops, I had a bit of glue on my finger there. All right, there you go, look. You see? So once you've done the one, then just go ahead and do your other one. Exactly the same method that we just used. So plop some glue on first. Make sure you've got it up the right way. Don't go right to the very bottom. Come up slightly. And then when you've got them in the right place, then you can just put some more on the top like we did before. Hold them in place, make sure they don't all squidge out in the wrong direction, which that one looks like it might do. Oh, yeah, I've got it. And then, oh, look what I've done. I've put that one in the wrong place as well. <coughs> right, I'm going to come back and do that in a minute. Let me just clear up. Ugh. Glue everywhere. What a mess. That's it. Wipe your hands on your trousers. <laughs> Always works, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's do that again. Put some glue in there. Ah, right. Where was I? Um... Uh... Oh, there's nothing like making a mess, is there? <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I think I've done it this time. That's it. There. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> there we go. Look, can, oh! <laughs> it's not stuck. Oh, stick down. <laughs> Put a bit more glue in. There you go. <laughs> right. Don't pull it apart before you stuck it down. Because it doesn't work. It makes a big mess. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, oh, nearly, nearly. It's trying, isn't it? It's trying. There we go. There, I think it's gone. That's it. There. I've got two pockets anyway, and that's what I was aiming for. <laughs> so I got there in the end. 
Right, so now we have front cover. Pocket number one and number two. Pocket number three and number four. Pockets number five, six and seven. Seven pockets all in one little organiser. Quite neat really, isn't it? Don't you think? I do. 